guys, Sergeant here with Matty Ice. We just got back from Gamers for Giving 2016 mm -hmm. out in Eastern Michigan University, and we had a really good time there. Unfortunately, we didn't get a land seat, which is something we want to talk about here, but we just want to give you a little recap if you weren't able to make it out and enjoy the action. Um, what do you think of it? Yeah, I was, um, I was kind of surprised by how big it was, to be honest. Um, that's what that's she what said. Ah, <laughs> it's all coming. <laughs> Set that one up. But uh, no, like it was, it was super cool. Um, there was a ton of people there. Like the build, it was an entire arena. So I mean, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and we saw pictures in the morning of them of like they were putting it together and stuff like that. So we kind of knew when we were going into it. But it's still, I mean, it was pretty pretty crazy to see that many people there. You know, just for this thing, this type of event. So. Yeah. The cool stuff. The cool thing was like. There were that many people there, but there were that many people there bringing their huge gaming rigs. So right. there was oh, like, yeah. I don't even know, 100, 200 people with their PCs, monitors. There were people there with crazy, crazy setups. Yeah, I mean, some of the, the lots of money, let's put it that way, into <laughs> that thing. Um, you know, and Brandon is, or Lokes is, oh gosh, what's your name? Sergeant. There you go. Sergeant <laughs> is a. Uh, you know, Mac guy, but like as someone who's like played PC primarily and I've built my own PC and know what that stuff costs in general, like it's stupid the amount of money that people spend on these things. Yeah. Um, I, was kinda, I was kind of, I was getting schooled. It was a little bit of a, a hardware lesson for me while uh, we were there. Uh, always being on a Mac, yeah. recording this on a Mac. Yep. Um, <laughs> you know, I had no idea. There was some crazy stuff there. There was, there was a rig from, uh, Fort Land, is that what they were? Fort Land, uh, out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. They mm -hmm. build custom rigs, and they had some insane, insane cool. setups. I don't even, I, I can't, I, I don't know what was in it, but um, yeah, I mean, I mean, you take a, it was a high powered PC, pretty much, if you're looking at it from the hardware perspective, and then it, they took that and then turned it into art, pretty much. I mean, yeah. essentially. Yeah, so um, they were saying they take them to events that they get judged from everything from the aesthetic piece to the, right. what they have hardware-wise, right. um, and that one took, like, fourth place or something, so, yeah, they had some, like, legit. Ridiculous, liquid cool, crazy, yeah. it's like a water feature, you could just, like, set it up, have it on, and it just, like, and waterfall, sounds like a waterfall. waterfall in the background, <laughs> just hanging out. It was nuts. It was nuts. The cool thing was is they got hooked up with the Gamers Outreach folks and made a custom Gamers Outreach right. rig to be uh, raffled off. Yep. So hopefully, maybe one of us will take it home. Um, we may not be there in person <laughs> to receive it. Details. Uh, details. We won't talk about that. But they were they were auctioning it off. It was very cool. Um, it was themed for Gamers Outreach. Yep. And then, you know, talking about the raffle, there were so many other things that they were raffling off. Um, I mean, there were so many brands and companies that were really integral in helping this event come together. Yeah, I mean, we bought, we each bought, you know, 20 bucks worth of raffle tickets. And, um, you know, besides being a good cause, I mean, it was a mm -hmm. legit raffle, you know, I yeah. mean, it was good stuff in there. So uh, definitely, you can tell it's super well run. They know what they're doing. Um, they have a mission. Um, you know, I will talk about later. We talked to Wall Street and he talked about, you know, them having a mission and stuff like that and knowing how much money they want to mm -hmm. raise to put, you know, the gaming carts in all these hospitals and everything. Um, just awesome and super cool. Uh, super cool to see. Super cool to see how big it is and how far along they are with this event, too. I yeah. guess this is the point. How elaborate everything was and how much they know what they're doing. Um, they, in the opening, they talked about, you know, they want to raise $100,000 uh, this weekend. Um, so, I mean, just lofty goals. Mm -hmm. It's a big event. Uh, much more than I thought it would be, and I was I was pleasantly surprised, and it was cool, and you know I'm super super pumped about it now, and I'm glad that we you know we found this, and um, you were able to attend this year, and, and next year we're gonna go all yeah out definitely. Together, so. so they had so much going on there. When we got there, everything was still getting set up, but they had a Halo tournament, Call of Duty tournament, Super Smash Bros. Um, Rocket League is happening later tonight. Probably CSGO was happening. League of Legends. League of Legends. Hearthstone tournament. Everything you can think of. Uh, it was gaming mecca, yeah. and it was just so cool. And we are incredibly jealous that um, of everyone that had land seats because um, you just get in there, you set up, you can play all day, all no. night, all tomorrow. Take part in any tournament that you want to, and um, I mean, it was just, it was a really cool scene, and, you know, talking about the Halo tournament, so 
we were going to get a team together. It didn't end up happening. We had some guys fall off, but there was a lot of people there for it. And unfortunately, while we were there, there were some server or <clears throat> network issues more so um, that didn't really have it come together. Restricted network. The damn restricted net that everyone's, I'm sure, encountering some issues. They couldn't get everything going up. Um, obviously, Xbox One and their network type of stuff doesn't allow for like pure LAN stuff anymore. So what it seems like, yeah. Makes it a little more difficult, and I think they just had, uh, for whatever reason, didn't it wasn't compatible. I guess is probably yeah. the way of putting it, and uh, they were struggling with it. <laughs> so yeah, so it's uh, it's unfortunate. I mean, there were guys. We were talking to a few guys that came in from the Chicago area just for the Halo tournament. They didn't have land seats, and uh, not being able to have that happen was a little frustrating. But I mean, it's a, that's a <clears throat> it was not anyone's fault. No, or no, absolutely for no. lack of trying. Let's put it that way. For no. everyone, all running around and how exhausted they look. They put. <laughs> every little bit of effort yeah. they could into getting that off the ground and, and they still they still might they still might have it happen you know um we we ended up leaving you know we were there for a good six seven hours and uh you know this gaming is happening all night these yeah. guys are going all night so they still might get it up and running we don't know i hope they do um you know martin was running around out there doing everything in his power to get it going so uh hopefully for those guys they can get it up um, but the Call of Duty tournament was going off while we were there. A lot of guys playing League of Legends. Mm -hmm. It was it was just so much fun. And then, you know, we talked about the brands, everyone that kind of helped kind of come together and help get this event off the ground. There were some really cool things that we saw there. Not to, not to plug anybody, but uh, talking to Cinch Gaming, they have some really cool stuff coming out. Aside from the, the controller itself, they have this really neat uh, data tracking controller coming out at the end of yeah. April. Um, it'll be able to visualize all of the data, all the inputs you put into your controller so you can compare it to pros and what they do. And, it, and you know, in theory, <clears throat> I think it's a really, really interesting take on gaming. Yeah, I mean, it's another layer of analytics and, mm -hmm. and analyzing what, uh, you know, you do comparatively mm -hmm. to other people. Yeah. Um, you know, you look, I, I was talking, we were talking with the guys, um, and I said, you know, it reminds me of something like, you know, we look at real sports, not real sports, actual physical sports um yeah. and it's like there's so much that goes into the analysis of how the the people actually play the game the way they do something like look at soccer the way they hit the ball or the way they move mm -hmm. or like their strength and stuff like that all the sports science stuff that you see on espn uh, it reminds me of that you know a way of comparing yeah. how crazy like someone at the pro level is compared to like the normal people mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah um and it's super cool and uh, kind of tying it in with the esports and we talked about how Esports is more interactive and it's cool because you can relate more and you can be involved with it and stuff like that. Like, I'm not going to be able to have someone film me running around playing soccer and then compare myself to Lionel Messi. Like, that's not <laughs> going to happen, you know. But I could potentially play a couple rounds of Halo and then have that compared to Royal Two yeah, and how he exactly, plays. Exactly. So I mean, that's that's something that's you can't get in other in other sports. So yeah, it's super cool. I think it's a natural progression. I love seeing it. Um, here's a little snapshot. Got this card for you guys. Interesting stuff. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely check it out. Yeah, definitely go learn a little bit more. Check it out. Um, gosh, what else did we see there? Uh, so we met, we got to meet Walshy. Got mm -hmm. to talk to him a little bit. Super nice guy. Um, I highly doubt he's going to watch us, but if he does, thank you, Walshy, for your time. Stop and check in with us. You never know. Got a photo with him. Um, that was just a really cool experience. You know, he's such a down to earth guy, and for him to take the time to talk to us uh, was was very cool. Yeah, um, it was super. Um, you could just tell how passionate he was about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and he really was. I mean, it was wasn't like we were like, "What do you think about this? What do you think about that?" He was just going into it, yeah. and like how you could tell, like how passionate he was about it, and how cool he thought this event was, and how much you know he likes it, and how much he puts into it. And, yeah, um, just kind of yeah, it was telling. It you know, it just seemed like a great guy. Yeah, um, especially in that aspect. You know, when you look at it for what the cause is, there mm -hmm. these guys go all out for it. Yeah, you know? and the coolest thing was everyone was just really friendly, really. Not outgoing, I wouldn't say, but everyone was very open to meeting other people. Yeah. The whole just environment there was uh, gamers coming together for something that they all love right. to do and uh, for a good cause. And it was just, it was a great event altogether. Um, you know, I, I can't really say much more than that. It was just, I really enjoyed myself. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I, I think it, it was it was awesome to see. Um, we had a good time. I cannot wait to go back next year mm -hmm. and to do it right. Um and to get a land table and hopefully get as many people as we can there. Yes. And just go nuts on the place. I would so. say uh, the one takeaway from it is if you are 
you know, mad that you missed out this year and you're looking to next year, mm -hmm. don't just look at tournaments or spectating. Get a LAN spot. Yeah, Even if you don't have, like, a huge gaming rig, you don't have to be that, but get a LAN spot. It's not about the size of the rig. It's how you use it. <laughs> just get a spot so you can get in there and uh, you can just play games all day, all night, um, link up with a bunch of people. And I think that's, that's what we want to do. I mean, that's where the experience is at, and we want to get all of our buddies together. And when you hear about it next year... Get a spot because I think that's that's where it's all about. That's that's where the experience. And is we at. will be there. We immediately as soon as we got there, we're like, group message went out. We're doing yes. this next year. Like <laughs> it's established. It's going to be established early. Um, we're going to put up the money for it and happily for the good cause and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So, absolutely. Let's do it. Absolutely. So one last thing, we uh, were able to get some cool shirts from the event just for you guys to check out. Gamers outreach, helping others level up. That's right. Really cool line that they have a little motto there um but uh that's it for probably this video i know you guys may have missed out on the event but uh catch it next year for sure and um we'll see you next time yeah absolutely and you know we took some pictures and stuff um on our twitter feed yeah um, so go check that out and just get a sense for what it is if you've never heard it before um I mean, it, I mean, it took me six hours to get here and I, I, you know it's not that far i mean if you're anywhere on the east coast you can get you know, here pretty easily. Yeah. I, I think it'll be something that's worth it for the weekend. It's yeah, super cool. Absolutely. For a great cause especially. So, you know. Yeah, all of our Twitter account handles will be down in the descriptions. So you can find it down there. Um, otherwise leave any comments that you have if you showed up and for for some reason you're watching this video. Um, like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.